Hi YouTube Divas Mahogany731 coming to you today with another wig tutorial and I just wanted to do this this was gonna be real real quick I have been asked from some of my viewers how well do the finger comber hold up and I want to say to them I bought two the finger comber wig holds up good for me because I'm very versatile with my wigs. However, when it comes time to twist the finger comber, ugh, I don't like. I'm not a twisting person, you know? got to be a serial twister to get down with the finger comber after you wear. And it's time to retwist. Okay. I'm going to show you the finger comber. I washed it, and I retwisted it, and I took the twist out. I had this wig for some months now. And another YouTuber had this wig. And I seen it. I wish, you know what, I got to get better with names because I like to give people their props. So this is my finger comber. This is how it look. This is how I wear it. And I'm going to show y'all some pictures of me rocking it before I actually um, did the twist out. I, I retwisted it because that's what I did. I retwisted it. That's why I was dangling down in the front. I like my front pieces. But anyway, I retwist this wig. And the thing I like about it is that it's it don't require a lot of maintenance. This wig don't require a lot. That's the one thing I like. But I'm going to show y'all some pictures of me rocking the wig before I retwisted it. And that's the picture right there on the wall of me wearing it. Y'all might have seen that same picture on my Facebook page. For some reason, I love that picture. I love, 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 love that picture. Excuse me for one moment. Excuse me. Hello? Hello. This is Shay. I'm fine, Megan. Megan, I can't talk right now. Uh, no, I'm doing something. Okay. Telemarketers, telemarketers calling your house trying to sell something. Okay. I just told the bitch that I was doing something and she said it only take 90 minutes. I don't give a fuck if it was two minutes. I'm doing something. You know? Hate to go there. I just hate to be taken. I just hate I, I just hate it. Okay. Well, make a long story short. This is the finger comber. And this is the twist out that I did on the finger comber last night. And you know, I'm thinking about wearing it today. So, yeah, this is the wig. And, y'all, this wig is so damn fabulous. So, 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 so fabulous. Matter of fact, it's so fabulous. Let me give Finger Comber their props. That's the first time i ever seen a little beady bead. And I'm actually going to leave it in there. I have another one. And what I did, I kind of trimmed it and made it a little, little bit shorter than this one. Not sure how that's going to turn out, but let me let me get a photocopy of myself. Let me get one more. Yeah, so finger comber and the ladies that created this wig is the bomb. I love her. I love it. 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 I love it. When I say I love it, I love it. I love big hair. We should do a big hair blog. I die for big hair. I just love it. 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 I love big hair. Big hair does something for full-figured women. Big hair does something for me. Yes, it does something for me. I just love big hair. And the thing about it... Y'all know I have the Bishi Drew. I'm not going to lie. I have like seven of the number ones, the black. I have the... Y'all might think I'm lying, but I'm not. I have the 
it's another one not the bc drew it's a something better yet i'm gonna show y'all that i'm not lying look at it the b she look at that That's the BCWL Drew. And then I have the Motown Lace Front Lace Dream number one. That's it. That is it. Y'all, I'm so addicted to big hair. Here is the second finger comb one. Let me get her. This is the second one. She's all twisted up, waiting to be worn. Yeah. I am a fan, extreme fan of the big hair. I love, 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 love the big hair. Oh, let me share with you all something. Look at the wall art that I ordered. It has my name, and it's extremely big. Yeah, that's the wall art that I ordered for myself. And... To let y'all know, the name Mahogany, I'm going to tell you how I got that name. My mother, back, I'm a 70s baby. My mother back in the 70s, they told me, I witnessed this, you know, a little before she passed. They told me that my mom and my father was Billy D and Diana Ross on the dairy. I was told that those were some dressing motherfuckers. Yes. And I can recall putting on her heels and, you know, so on and so forth. But to make a long story short, that's where the name Mahogany came from. Because my mom used to dress just like Diana Ross and Lady Sing the Blues and then Mahogany. And when she passed... I was told that I dress like her. My demeanor is like her. How I geek for hair, shoes, and pocketbooks. They said that's how my godmother was. She was never out of place. However, with me, I get in my comfort zone, and I'll do a video with none of this on. All said and done. And 731 comes from, I'm a female that came off of government assistance with two children and no help from their father. And my first, my first place where I paid $1,400 rent, my address was 731 Fifth Street. So everything that I do, it has a meaning and it has a story behind it. So that's why I get Mahogany 731. The mahogany part is my mom I carry with her. And the 731 is the blessing from God that I was able to get off of government assistance and pay market rent and get a decent job to take care of my children. So that's how I came up with mahogany 731. Now I'm going to do two vids in one. Let me do it real, real fast. Because I was sitting here and I was looking at this wig. Now a lot of you all had a whole lot of questions on my Facebook page about this. This is the Brady wig. True Ecstasy put a picture on her Facebook page and she was wearing one of these. I have two. Yeah, I have I have an addiction. I have two. And she was wearing one, but hers was just a tad bit longer. Mine's I got shoulder length because this is the one I wore out of town. I didn't want to have too much hair. Look at the front of this lace. Look how well. Look how well. It lays, and that's how it lay against your skin. This wig is the bomb. It has um, adjustable tabs and a comb on in the back, and the ear, little ear tabs, and a two adjustable combs on the side. None in the middle. And when I went out, when I went on my trip, I slept in this wig. I put a silk cap on, and I slept in this wig, and. It's not human hair, synthetic hair. And this is how the wig came out. The wig is the bomb. Look at it. Just look at it. Just look. Oh my God. When I tell you the wig is the bomb, look. The sisters that created this wig, they are the bomb. And I just wanted to do that quick video to give them their props as well. Just look, how the, look at the fullness of the wig. And the hair just flow. And like I said, I slept in this wig and look at the ends. They're not frizzy. So I don't know what quality of hair 
that they use but I give this wig two thumbs up also the wig is it's nice it's, it's very 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 nice and I went out of town and I had a ball y'all when I say I had a ball I had a ball but I'm gonna wrap this video up put all the stuff down in the description bar and y'all take care and I'll come back with more videos I love you all stay successful bye bye